As we mentioned, the Wildcats 10 game football season kicks off with the rival Sun Devils. Nine on your side's Luis Delia Caballero talked to a local business owner who weighs in on what football this fall means for him. With bars closed and restaurants operating at less than half capacity, the co-owner of the Drunken Chicken says this decision does more harm than good for his business. It's weird, strange, and difficult to adjust to. Ben Sattler says his restaurant is already operating at 20% as it is. We've shut down our entire bar back there. We can't seat any of that. We have about 10 available seats inside and four outside. He says adding a three to four hour football game to the plate is a foul play. You're going to have people staying in seats, but you won't have the numbers that you did before, so you can't really make a whole lot of money off of that operating at that capacity. You can't really say, hey, can you get out of here paying customer? We need somebody else to give us money. Sadler adds another challenge this decision brings is a lot of uncertainty. To see a ASU U of A football game as the initial game of the season is kind of bizarre. I think it's going to be really weird and a lot of people aren't going to know how to react. We're definitely going to get a lot more people going to businesses and restaurants to watch the game because we don't know if we're going to even be able to attend the games. You don't know what's going on. And while he says having sports back at the U of A isn't going to do much for his business on the receiving end, he knows something that will. Having sports back with the U of A isn't going to do a whole lot. Having the U of A back, however, will change business dynamics for us a lot. Lustelia Caballero, Kagan 9 on your side.